Hello, I'm Jonathan Beal with Saratoga Copper, and I'm here today to talk about our pie pans. This is really the first piece of cookware um, that we started making probably about 10 to 12 years ago, uh, which has since branched out in a whole new series of designs and a um, real great handling system. But these pans are amazing cooking pans. Um, of course you can do paella but there's so much more than paella. You can cook up anything you want in a pan like this. You can cook it over gas, you can cook it over electric, you can cook it over fire, you can cook it over charcoal, propane. You cannot cook it on induction. Induction works with magnets or magic somehow and uh, copper is not magnetic but it is magic. We have uh, three sizes of our cooking paella pans. This is a 12 inch paella pan. We have a 15 inch paella pan. And then we have our big 18 inch paella pan. The 18 inch paella pan is great. You're gonna serve probably oh, 15 to 20 people at a party with a paella in this, in this bad boy. Um, it's kind of difficult to use on a single burner. I have cooked it inside using it on two separate burners. You put that heat on there. One of the nice things about the copper is it disperses the heat everywhere. We've got a hot tinned interior which makes for a great saccharat. You get a real nice finish. Um, and with the copper, your heat, it responds so well to the heat and the changes in heat that you need to make a good paella. When you're starting out your paella, you want a real nice heat everywhere as you're doing your sofrito and your frying up maybe your basic protein like chicken, chicken skin, getting all that oil out uh, to saute the onions and the peppers and then saute your rice and then you want a nice spread out thorough even heat um, as you add your stock um, to get that really nice rice um, and that cooks for a while. Uh, our resident paella expert Juan grew up uh, cooking paella with his grandmother in Colombia. Um, always likes to draw una cruz a cross in there and he draws that cross and that's where he pours his water in with all the four quadrants of rice and it all fills up and then just lets that rice percolate and what you're going to have with the copper is you're going to have real even heat dispersion we use real heavy gauge uh, copper material here about two millimeter so that what happens is it'll take that heat source and it'll spread that heat around throughout everywhere these handles are stainless steel this is a stainless steel handle here. Stainless steel is not a conductor like copper is a conductor. Stainless steel is an insulator. It does not, it does not conduct heat or electricity very well. Um, and for that reason, we use it as our handles. And the reason we have two wires here is the heat just it acts like a radiator and the heat just passes through here. That was my general idea. And then the brilliance came in when we figured, oh, look, we have somewhere that we can set the handle while you're cooking. Look at that, oh my God. Occasionally I do surprise myself. We rivet our handles on. And if you can see in here, these rivets are countersunk rivets. So they, those rivets come in and we form a hole here and we countersink that hole. And that's an extra step in the process of riveting something. If you got a machine that's just turning out thousands of stuff, it doesn't take the time to pay attention to these little details that we do here, which is our countersunk rivets. So they sit flush with uh, the sides of all of our, of all of our paella pans, um, which means you don't get food caught up in there. Um, they hold tighter, they have more surface area that they're grabbing onto the piece at. Um, you know, you've got a pretty wide pan here, 15 inch diameter, and the, hand, the rivets are also stainless steel, which stainless steel is a very hard material. Aside from not being a conductor, it's, it's uh, much harder than copper. And so when we hammer those things, you get a really heavy duty, work hard and rivet here that is just gonna, these handles are gonna last, I can personally attest, these handles will last for um, as long as we've been making these pans, at least 12 years, uh, and they're still looking good. Another thing that we understand about the copper is you get very small variations in the, in the surface of your pan, uh, very small. You can feel it, of course, a little bit as you run your fingers over that, um, but what that does is that just that slight variation in the surface aids with the release 
um, aids with release and it helps to, as I've understood from a French uh, chef, that that helps to also oxygenate the food. If you're making like a little sauce and just the, those little surface variations just help to stir your food better. Um, but definitely one of the benefits of this surface variation is an easier release, um, which you get with this hammered copper surface. And it looks good, wears well, cooks great. Another detail about how we make all of our pans, um, these paya pans especially with this big wide diameter, um, it'll tend to want to move even if you've got the two millimeter copper. Um, you can feel the weight on this stuff. It's heavy, it's solid. You want heavy and solid so that your copper is dispersing all that heat uniformly. Well, what thing we do is we take the lip and we bend that lip over and we give that lip a little just a little edge on it, and that gives your piece much more rigidity in how it holds up and just uh, it, uh, it wears with time. And this piece is gonna be real difficult to bend something like this. Um, so this is our 15 inch paia pan. We got these same details on all of our paia pans. Countersunk rivets that sit flush, uh, our stainless steel patented handle system, um, and of course our work hardened, hammer polished finish that wears just so well. Um, what we're doing on here, and you can see just the talent that goes into making this, these concentric circles, just the pulse that we have in our shop of hammering our stuff out, best artisans in the world for working on copper.